right, so here we go. We've got uh, our two pages that have been printed out. And we just need to line these up and splice them together. So if you had a lighting table, that would be the best bet. Uh, because you need to be able to, to kind of line them up properly. And the lighting table just shines through and allows you to line them up. I have a window uh, here which I can line them up, get them close to lined up. Just hold them up to a window. Actually, that's that's not a bad option. That's pretty much lined up there. Just leave that there. Okay, once they are lined up, just need to hold them in hold them in place temporarily with a, a bit of masking tape. Put them down there and down here. Okay, once those two are joined, we can flip it over, and we're gonna. Use a straight edge and a Stanley knife and cut through both pieces of paper. Okay, so in the middle where they overlap, you want to put a stripe or, uh, you know, cut them in half with the Stanley knife here. So just be careful not to, to, to cut yourself. Nice sharp Stanley knife should do the trick. And that should, yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's cut through nicely. And what we'll do now is just get rid of this little overlap. Just peel it off carefully. Masking tape is quite nice from that point of view. It doesn't rip the paper. And then we're just going to do the same thing. Where it overlaps, that's actually quite nicely done. Okay, we just want to hold it in place with a, two new pieces of masking tape. There's one. Make sure it lines up nicely. There's two. We flip that over, and then we're just going to take a long strip of masking tape and put it over that cut edge, smooth it down, flip this over, and you can now remove the other two pieces. This one off. Just peel this one off carefully as well. And if you want to get fussy, you can cut the edge, trim the edge off. Okay, so that one's off. Looks good already. And then you can just smooth it out. I'm just going to smooth it out with my nail, where the two bits of paper, it's a bit of a rough edge from where the Stanley knife uh, cut through the paper. But that's it. There we go. We've got a two, two A4s, which means spliced together, and um, set a, a scale of 1 in 1,000. And we can continue and start uh, capturing that, that layout now with the pencil and ruler.